rabies virus itself doesn't live out on the counter or the doorknobs or anything like that. You can't get it. But the fear of the deadly virus lives in one central Arkansas county after the state health department confirms two animals tested positive for rabies in less than two weeks. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Ashley Katz. Well, good evening, everybody. I'm Bob Fawcett. We have learned from officials the latest case resulted in one person requiring medical treatment. We've also learned two cases happen in Clark County. One of those this week in Arkadelphia, and that's where KRK Horace Price McKean is back from. She's joining us now live in the studio with more on this. And Price, what's the state health department saying about their risk now to others? Okay, so Bob and Ashley, the state health department told us there's no perceived risk to additional people when it comes to those two confirmed cases in Clark County. But rabies, well, it remains in the natural state, meaning a risk of contracting the deadly virus stays too. So much that we've learned Arkadelphia is getting more equipment just in case there's another exposure. You want it, Hankers? Julie Plant plays, well, tries to play fetch with the dog this college student hey, describes as her best friend in security. <coughs> Scared. It makes me very nervous to, like, let him out or anything or go to a park, like, because he is my law. Well, with grandkids running around, and make us a little bit more cautious. Across the street, Alfred Scott's grandkids play ball and help us sort papers. I can kind of defend for myself and all the other ones. Kids don't know any better. Uh, nervous. That, that makes me very, very nervous. These Arkadelphia neighbors share the same concern after learning officials say two animals in Clark County tested positive for rabies in less than two weeks, resulting in one person getting treatment for exposure to the deadly virus. This is the time of the year when the increase, uh, the rabies numbers increase for our state. The state health department's vet, Dr. Laura Rothfeld, calls the two cases in that short time a coincidence more than a concern. So that's not surprising at all because um, it's springtime and the animals are on the move. According to ADH's website, in the decade leading up to this year, a total of nine animals tested positive for rabies in Clark County. Not even halfway through this year, a skunk and a bat make it to already. We're not out there actively seeking um, animals for submission. So there could be other counties that have more than one case. Come here, Hank. I would, if I could, I would give him a shot every week for rabies to prevent. The neighbor's fears bring about at least one good thing this new friendship. The police chief emphasized, call the police department or animal control. If you find an animal that appears sick or is acting unusual, do not touch it. As for the health department, well, the vet there explains she expects the number of cases of rabies, especially in Clark County, will increase as awareness does too. We've posted more of her information on our website. Just go to kark.com. Back to you. All right, Price, thanks very much. And some quick info tonight on rabies. The CDC says it's entirely preventable with quick treatment. Most cases each year occur in wild animals like raccoons, skunks, bats, and foxes. You can get it from being bit or even touching an infected animal. Current vaccines are relatively painless, and they are given in your arm just like a flu shot.